Alright, Nasty Nathaniel out here in Santa Maria, California. And right now I'm going to be conducting a First Amendment audit of the Susan J. Gianfrido Juvenile Justice Center, which houses the Santa Maria Juvenile Hall and the Santa Barbara County Juvenile Courts. So right now we're going to see if the County of Santa Barbara respects and honors the First Amendment to the Constitution, which is the right to film and take photographs in public view. Well, I don't see how that's any of your concern, sir. Okay, well, I'm on a public sidewalk. They're more than happy. All right, well, we got this individual here. Got this gentleman who uh, called 911 on me earlier. He's uh, parked down the street. Wants to know why I'm taking pictures of the juvenile hall. Said he's gonna have 911 deal with me. So we'll see what happens when the cavalry gets here. Right there we got a shot of Old Glory and below Old Glory is the California State Bear flag. Always flying high and proud. This looks like some kind of a entrance for prisoner transport vehicles. We got the Santa Maria Police Department on the scene. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Great, thank you. Just gathering content for a little story I'm working on. Okay. Is it for like school or something? Uh, just I have a blog and as such. Okay. Do you have ID on you? Uh, I prefer not to identify. Okay. Yeah. I'd like to see it. You're required by law to give me your ID. Actually, unless I've been suspected of committing a crime, you're I'm not filming, required to. You're filming a government building. Uh, from okay. a public sidewalk. Right. That's which fine. is perfectly legal. Right. I have the right to detain you, okay? And I, you're required to identify yourself. Well... Okay. You're not being charged with anything? I understand that. I understand that, officer, but I do understand California law, unless you have reasonable suspicion that I've actually committed a crime, okay. filming a government building from a public sidewalk, which is protected by the First Amendment, is not a crime. No, but I have the right to detain you to figure out what's going on, okay? Okay. You're out here dressed in all BDUs, you've got a video camera, two video cameras, okay? Okay. And juvenile Hall is concerned, okay? If no crime is committed, then no big deal, okay? But I do have the right to identify you. 
Uh, you are required to give me your ID. No, I'm not. Unless I, unless you have reasonable suspicion that I've actually committed a crime, I'm not required to identify myself. Yes, no, I'm not. Being detained. Okay, officer. What am I being detained for? For suspicion of why you're at, dressed and acting all weird in front of your home. Well, suspicion is not a crime. <laughs> right. It's not probable cause. It's reasonable suspicion to detain you to investigate what's going on. Okay, and I just told you what's going on. Well, officer, at this point, I'd like to speak to a supervisor, sure. so I would ask Absolutely. that you call a sergeant out here. Absolutely. Item 53, sir, Felix Sergeant, easy to respond. Hi, how are you doing, sir? Good. What's going on today? Oh, just gathering content for a little story. For what? Just gathering uh, content, like B-roll, for a little story I'm doing. Oh, what's the story on? Uh, it's uh, just for a blog I write. For? Uh, I'd rather not say it this time, because it's not published yet, so, you know, just getting some B-roll. Whatever. Yeah. Okay, but you understand why we came out here? I understand. Okay. Well, I've been on the public sidewalk the whole time. No, that's I haven't not, gone on saying, any restricted wrong areas. With that. Okay. But we just want to make sure that you're not coming out here trying to snoop around and do something. Because people tend to do reconnaissance, you know? Yeah. You want to talk to the sergeant, I take it? Yeah, because uh, like, like the other officer, you know, she asked for my ID. I respectfully declined because, you know, I... I, I know what my rights are, unless there's reasonable suspicion that a crime has actually been committed, I'm not required to identify myself. So, um, the other officer here is it suggesting that she has the right to ID me, I'm saying no. So at this point I think it would be best to have a supervisor come out and we can clarify all this. That's fine. Okay. So just to clarify, I am le being legally detained, I'm not free to leave. I know you haven't done anything criminal. We just asked who you were. Okay. That's well, the, all. well, the other officer here said that I was being detained. So. I think it's suspicious that you're out here filming a juvenile hall. Okay. Yeah, I was detaining you to find out who you are. Oh, so I am being detained. I'm detaining. You. I'm not free to leave then. Okay. All right. Okay. And, and like I said, I, I, I understand that. you got to call for service. You have to come out and investigate. I explained to you what I was doing. But, you know, and you've even admitted that I'm not doing anything wrong. There's no crime being committed. No crime being committed. Then I, I really don't understand why I'm being detained then. Do you want to speak to our sergeant? Uh, if I'm being detained, yes. Today's date is 123 of 2017. The time is 16, 13 hours. Are you getting that? Yes, sir. Okay, good. I want to stamp too, okay? Okay. How can we help you? Uh, nothing. I just, uh, your officers made contact with me. I explained to them. Okay. I'm gathering content for a little story I'm doing. Alrighty. And uh, when your officer, she wanted to uh, ident uh, see my ID, I told her I'd prefer not to. And Actually, we do have the right to ask you for your ID because they call us here. It is a juvenile hall facility here, so okay. we do have your authority. Okay, so, so if you're doing a story, yes, we do have that right, sir. Okay, and I explained to your officer that unless I understand California law, mm -hmm. I've been through this before, Okay. 
unless you have reasonable suspicion that I've actually committed a crime. No, no. Okay. Listen to her. So we have people that do reconnaissance on police, on our juvenile hall facilities, jail facilities, people that right. okay. gather information, take video surveillance, try to identify us, identify our vehicles, and do all that kind of stuff for malicious purposes, okay? And I'm not saying that's what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing out here. You're saying that you're doing this for a blog or whatever. So we're detaining you to figure out whether or not you're doing this for malicious purposes or completely innocent purposes. And if it's for completely innocent purposes, that's totally fine. But we do have the right to identify you, okay? And if we ID you and everything's good to go, then you're fine. And I have a right to decline because I, uh, I know the law. I know my right. I'm not trying to be confrontational or anything. But unless you have reasonable suspicion that I've actually no. committed a crime, I'm not required yeah, so to, the officer there. to identify so myself. So the way a detention works, right, we don't have probable cause at this point. The reason we detain people is to investigate something to see whether or not a crime has been committed. So when we detain somebody, at that point, we do not know whether or not a crime has been committed or not yet. Okay, it's during the detention we do our investigation to identify that per person and find out why they're there doing what they're doing. And if no crime has been committed, there's no probable cause and that person is free to go. But during a detention, that's when we do our investigation. At that point, the person is required to identify themselves by law. No crime has been committed that I can tell at this point. You're right, that's correct. Okay. But we still have the right to detain you and to identify you, okay? Okay, but what probable cause is there to uh, there suspect is, no, that I have committed a crime? Is, I'm filming from a public sir, sidewalk. Sir, there was probable cause you would be in handcuffs already. Right. That's what she's trying to explain to you. Okay. It's but we do have, exactly, a detention just to investigate. And we didn't come out here on our own. They contacted us. Yeah, you got a call for service. Okay. I understand so, that. And if you know the law and everything, you know that part too. Okay? And bottom line is, the officer's right, and we do have a job to do, obviously. Taxpayers pay us to do a job, and this is part of the job. Okay. Okay? So, all she's asking for identification is what we're talking to. She's not asking for too much. Okay. Okay? And I'm respectfully declining. Okay. Well, we do need an ID, sir. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm not going to provide identification. I, like I said, I've been through this before. You know, I've been through similar situations. Well, this way and start our camera, too, so that way, I mean, everything's recorded. Okay, Okay. Sir? So, and what was the, uh, what was the call? No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, this is what's going to happen. Okay, sir. Okay. We're going to stand around so you take care of your business. Okay, and then whatever you need for your blog, do the film in here from here. And obviously that's private property over there. Okay. And then just then leave when you're ready. Okay, but we're going to stand around here to make sure that the, the facility is safe. Okay, that's because perfectly fine. Because there are fine. kids in here, and that's our main concern here, kids. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we don't know what you're doing here, and we don't feel comfortable just leaving you here. So we are going to stay stick around, and then uh, when you're ready to do, when you're done, then you can leave. Actually, I'm already ready. Well, then we can get so, going then. Okay. Okay. And everything will be documented. We're writing a report, and everything, all the okay. pictures and everything. So we have our own little information too. Okay. Okay. All right. So whenever you're ready, you can get out of here or okay. whatever you're gonna do. So I'm no longer being detained. I'm no, free no, to go. You can, you can, you're free to go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, that's a bad angle. <laughs> oh yeah, the glare. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to glare. Okay. And again, we're doing all this for the safety of the children in there. Okay. All righty. All right. All right. Okay. To you now. All right. Thank all right. you. Have a good day. We got four officers standing around with nothing better to do but take pictures.